On February 11th, Pittsburgh dressed a throwback, a player as versatile as they come. Number 11 returned to the lineup. He is great skills player, you know, and he always play against top forwards, different team, you know. He's doing a great job, you know, it's, he can score, he can play power play, PK, you know, he played over 20 minutes, he's doing unbelievable job, you know, every shift. After missing 15 games, Jordan Stahl was back. And after 15 years, so were the Winnipeg Jets. The smell of something special was in the air. <laughs> I just got a big whiff of baby powder. Do you have baby powder on? We all knew that Stalzi would be back at some point, and you know, he looks like he hasn't missed a beat. Turns and shoots it, oh. and it goes in. How did that end up in the next? Then the Jets have a 2 nothing lead. Yeah. Come on, Blue! Come on! Every line, pick it up, Kerr! Go, Stolze! Nice, Stolze! Yeah! yeah. Stay on, boys. Good hit, Cookie. Look out, Stahl scores! Welcome back, Jordan. We won eight to five. It's not a game I'm real proud of from a defensive standpoint or what we gave up, but I, re I am proud of the way we responded in that game. Not the most fun for goalies, you know, definitely, but at the end, it was nice that our guys got so many goals and we were able to get a win, you know, because I was getting a little mad back there, again, giving up all those goals, but. Uh, they played very well in front and uh, got a big win. And I was really proud of the way we played. To win in this league, you have to have a lot of different components. There's a cliche, you know, you got to win games a, a lot of different ways. And you see that again against Tampa Bay. It's not a hope. It's not a taking chances. It's real response from our team, a real evidence of the room and leaning on the guy next to you. And also believing in how we're going to play and how we're going to do this. It's not like we need to you know, do a Hail Mary to, to get everything back with one pass down the field. It's a belief that we can play the right way and do this. Here's Downey with it. He guns one, scores! There's Downey again! And just as the Penguins fell behind 2-0 to, to the Jets yesterday, they're down 2-0 to, to the Tampa Bay Lightning. down 2 nothing, and there wasn't a crack on our bench. There wasn't a slamming of the doors, and you have to win a lot of different ways. Your team has to understand and believe it can win different hockey games, know they can come back, and I think it's a real response from our bench and from our team. It's a little bit tough because, yeah, we, I don't like when we come game and we start losing every game. It's tough because it's playoffs coming so soon, you know, it's it's so much different game. Yeah, we're lucky we lose to nothing and tie 2-2 two -two and win game, but it's when we start playoffs, it's so much different game and we can't start slow. We need to play all 60 minutes. We work hard, not 60 minutes. It's, we have a little bit problem. <laughs> the most troubling problem the Penguins have faced this season is the health of their captain. You know, there's a little bit of uncertainty there, obviously. Nobody really knows when he's going to feel 100% again. We hope that it's soon. We hope it's sometime this season. Since the All-Star break with some identification of an area where Sid can get treatment and get work done and progress, that's added a different light than having an unknown. We've seen him be able to get back on the ice and start to work out. That's been a good sign, especially if you're talking about a deadline deal. Adding a Sidney Crosby some point in time at, between here and the end of the year would be a great move. It's the move every hockey fan wants to see, the return of Sidney Crosby. Strength and conditioning coach Mike Kadar is trying to make it a reality. Shoot this one, shoot this one. Oh, it's in. Mike Kadar, 
You know, I think you've seen his work with Ben Lovejoy. We've seen it with Evgeny Malkin in the summertime. He's been on the ice a lot with Sydney. You know, he's a real valuable member of our staff, what he can do for the players. And I think the players have really benefited from being on the ice with him, going through his drills and rehab, and then working real close to getting back to playing. Nice said, nice said. There you go, there you go. Does everything really well, hey? Does everything so well. Can you make sure that you don't get me and Kate's fighting on this? Because we're gonna fight probably. Hey, okay. what, what can you do at a fair clip? What would you say to him? Says so make sure he doesn't get me and Kate's fighting on this. <laughs> <laughs> we don't fight. Give it to me. So Come you're, in. you're telling me to go through these cones when you're passing it to me? No, 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 no. I'm going to pass from here quickly to you and then you take off. But I gotta go through those? I want you to try to toe drag around those four. If we gotta open them up a little bit, we will. Okay. Okay? I and then, yeah, and then after we, after you do that, shoot. Nice, nice. Oh boy, oh boy. Hey, you're flying on that one. Flying. I'll try to get on your stick and your skates kind of all over the map. Because I know you can do it. There you go. Nice, nice. We will see his his best player, it's still best player in NHL. You know, he's dominate every game. You know, it's easy when he we see he come back, he play eight games, and he dominate every game. You know, when he healthy, he's. Nobody stop him, you know. It's what about me? It's easy because we play with seat power play. It's easy to move puck, you know. We understand how we play. We play together a long time, you know. Can you do that? Yeah. You can do that. Yeah. You can't do that. Yeah, no, can. you can't. Yeah, not like can. that. I can. Not like that. I bet you could do it easier. Not a chance. For sure. We're really confident with the team we have. We got a few guys. Still hurt. We've only seen eight, eight games with our, our whole roster with, with the possibility of what our team is. So the prospects of getting healthy and getting players like Stahl, the Tang, the possibility of Crosby down the road of coming back is the best trade deadline deals we could possibly come up with. So being healthy is our deadline wish. For sure, we're anxious to see what we, what we could do uh, when we have everyone. We're focused on games going into the end of February, setting us up for the run after the trade deadline, March, and then into playoffs, and these games being real important for our team. This is setting ourselves up with where we're going to be in the standings, you know, with the last 18 or so games coming up after the deadline.